Well, we use it, it, it what, what I use it for is uh, uh, assessing uncertainty in our load forecast. That is the, the demand for electricity, because the term load is used to, in, in the electricity industry to synonymous with the demand. Uh, okay, so we use that. Uh, we mono, use it to modify our uh, standard load forecast that is uh, produced by a whole team of people uh, in order to capture uh, the risk that's generated by uncertainty in predictive variables like weather, uh, like uh, GDP, uh, and whatever we and the regulators might do about the prices. Uh, and also, we also provide for uncertainty in some of the model parameters, like the price elasticities. Uh, and what I like about it is that it makes it quite easy to uh, 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 to generate probability distributions for the load, <laughs> given the probability distribution of these input variables, uh, <laughs> which would otherwise be a monumental task. Our main users of that risk are, uh, and the probability assessment in general is, uh, well, first of all, the, the management of the company, and secondly, uh, the finance uh, department, in order to produce their uh, financial forecasts. Uh, uh, some of it feeds back into the generation side, but the generation people have their own ways of doing things, and indeed they may have a license for at-risk uh, among themselves. Uh, and uh, then finally, one big user of the uh, risk analysis is the regulator. So we're uh, regulated by the uh, BCUC, the British Columbia Utilities Commission, and uh, they want things explained. And so uh, regulation is always a big source of activity for economists, engineers, and so forth, because they want a clear-cut overall picture of what's going on. Uh, and uh, and uh, this is very uh, helpful to us uh, to be able to use that risk for that purpose. And uh, I personally have answered many, many interrogatories in the regulatory hearings that arise from this, and that risk has been helpful in that. And, and that being said, as far as the problem of, of presenting this stuff to uh, the users, uh, it is true that you need something like at risk to generate uh, confidence intervals, uh, simple probability distributions, simple, uh, simple uh, uh, but it's also an art to present to management or regulators in such a way as you get your point across and you've got to really put it together after you go through at risk and whatnot you have to put it together in in plain english in order to so help people understand and uh, at risk definitely helps you doing that definitely helps you doing that